a Zambian journalist went viral for saying this about the United States. It's not China per se. It's the interests of the Americans that are being threatened with a world that is more equal, that is more fair, that is more just. They can't survive in that world because their methods of existence are based on plundering other nations, on humiliating other nations, on exploiting other nations. It sets one humble nation against the other. When it doesn't have a hand in it, it doesn't work to resolve those conflicts. It works to perpetuate those conflicts. When the world is divided, it becomes easier to exploit. It becomes easier to plunder. This is the country that benefits from wars. It prospers from wars. It creates wars as a business. If no conflict arises naturally, they create it. Look at Iraq today. 20th anniversary of 20th anniversary what is happening to the Iraqi oil money when Iraq sells oil all the money goes to the USA is Iraq independent is Iraqi sovereign Iraqi today is a colony of the USA they say do unto others as you would like them to do unto you does the USA do unto others as it would like them to do on itself. Look at what they did to Saddam Hussein. Look what they did to Muammar Gaddafi in Libya. Look at what they do to other people's leaders. Look even at the attitude, the arrogance towards other people. They never respect the leaders of other countries. China is working to free other people and free itself from being plundered, from being humiliated. Part of the hatred for China is racism. They cannot accept that a country that is, not, that is non-white can surpass them economically and in so many areas of human achievements, in human, of human endeavor. They can't accept that. But it is happening it's unstoppable. He said American interests are being threatened by the world becoming fair and he's absolutely right. The US has a lot to lose if there's fairness in the world because as he said, um, a lot of what the US has is by exploiting others. Even from the beginning of the United States, they were using black people to build their country. And after that, they were using other countries to get what they want. And it's about time that people start realizing what has been going on up until recently. People, especially on the African continent, used to think that the white man from the US is their savior. That was the mentality that was here, but slowly but surely people are realizing, no, they are not our saviors. We have to save ourselves. They are actually exploiting us. So I believe now that the more nations understand how the US is exploiting our countries and manipulating us basically with the mainstream media, the better um, it's getting and it will get. But the United States government understands that this is happening so they are trying their absolute best to change our minds. High officials are visiting Africa every other day like the, the United States Vice President Kamala Harris, the US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. They are just coming and going. Even the US Treasury was just here a few months ago. So clearly they are panicking and it's not helping that other nations are gaining popularity like Russia and China.